Hello and welcome back to Import Tuna Challenge Part 4. So in the last episode we managed to tune the uh, 180 to a pretty good level. Still got way to go, but for now we've got everything purchased for it, so... It's a pretty quick car. So our current target right now is Bloodhound. And to get him to come out, got to be either Speed Planet or changing stage. Now changing stage we'll find the leader at Shiodome PA and Speed Planet we'll find them both on the C1 so what I think I'll do is just quickly beat changing stage but don't go out of the parking area just to get that out of the way and then take on Speed Planet so I don't like going back and be racing guys just to clear them. So let's do that. Shield doing PA. Check out the information first. I know who the rolling guys are, don't you worry. How are you doing? Oop. Lots of uh, rolling guy fans tonight. Hmm. Again with the uh, confused guy. I don't like my handlers. Odd dancer. Sounds weird. Alright. Let's take on chain, uh, changing stage. Can I take on Lonely Wolf yet? No. Of course not. So. Changing stage. This shouldn't be too difficult. So we have a, uh, a Nissan S body fight, and I think I oh know he's getting away, but not for long, because a certain corner is coming up that the AI, AI always like to slow down too much. Oh my god, that ah, all right, well, that wasn't very nice with the traffic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Squeezing past the uh, Sephira there. Alright, now I've got to get some distance between us so the SP gauge will start going down. Like so. And we'll just stay on the throttle. Which is extend that lead. There we go. Drift going on there. Yeah, we've got this all. Uh, it doesn't matter. We've got this. And done. There we go. He's uh he's displeased about that. <laughs> no, you know it stays on the record. Definitely stays on. All right, down to the garage. We are still the odd dancer. Then we'll immediately go back in, or not? We've got the muff level three now, which is. 
Oh, okay. Muffler and clutch. That's that's handy. The muffler equipped. Ten north balance, it's worth it. Do I bother with the clutch? We actually gain weight from that clutch, so let's not waste our cash just yet. Go back onto the course. This time on the actual C1 loop. We'll take the outside. Because it's slightly in our favour. Well it isn't really, but you can always guess. So you go, Bloodhounds just showed his face. You can see the uh, Porsche styling there. Okay, a 996 Porsche. Right, so he's quick, but not impossibly so. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Or he's going to hit the wall and going to make this very easy. This is almost disappointing actually. Wow, okay. This is probably why he's the first boss actually, because he's just ridiculously easy after making such a bad mistake. And we'll try this later again. Spray. Doing 160. It's very good. Getting a bit wobbly. Nothing we can't handle. And done. So we got the achievement. And some bonus cash for beating him, which is always useful. And go towards our uh, next car, which I'm not sure what we're getting yet. Quite like a uh, an Impreza of some kind, maybe an Evo. Right. So if I remember right, this is where he's gonna. Where we're gonna unlock Shibuya, I think. Yep. I have never seen such a a flashy video just for a course unlock. That's uh that's pretty cool. Alright, so I guess I have to go back on the C1 and uh take on the 180 guys. We're engine level three now, that's uh Getting some unlocks now, it's definitely good. Alright. Bloodhound sticker and his car. Alright. Just quickly deal with these guys. I'm not getting the uh, engine upgrade yet. I'm just going to see how long I can make this stage 2 one last. So I'd rather save the money for a new car at this point. Alright, Speed Planet number 2. Ferocious Azeroth. He just 
rams the traffic. Oh, and I lose control. Off to a good start then, definitely. Right, it's definitely staying ahead, so. Maybe not. I guess a combination of a uh, traffic blocking his way and a corner has just destroyed his lead over me. He's got a little bit more speed in the straights, but let's try not to get right behind him. That won't end well. Come on, can I squeeze? Nope. He's going to shut the door. Alright, you're mine now, you're mine. This corner up ahead is a prime overtaking spot. So you can just cut the corner a bit. Completely illegal, but well, racing on this highway is already illegal, so there's no point uh, arguing there. There's one of the rolling guys. I forget which one. Let's, uh, let's go down Shabir actually. Play next right. So Shibiru is just one big straight road, really. Now, uh, the boss of uh, Speed Planet is here. But yeah, Shibiru is uh, it's like a high speed. R long high speed road and r very tight turnaround at the end and it catches out everyone the first time around because you don't expect such a a sudden need to do a 180 to come back the other way <laughs> so should we have its own uh bunch of races, they aren't time specific, so they'll appear in every, any uh, time, which is useful, because you don't have to do a worry about coming here at midnight or daybreak for certain people, you just come here whenever you want racing. I used to ride mostly to uh, go from the C1 outside to the inside, because there's no actual crossover point on the C1 itself, you have to use one of these roads to turn around. That's probably what spray is really for in this game, is to uh, get yourself out of tight situations. It doesn't recharge, you've, uh, you've only got a certain amount for however long you race between uh, refills, which you can only refill at the garage or the parking area. As you can see, that, that time was a uh, I've seen the easy of the 180, but that's because the 180 is a great handling car. If this was like a Skyline or something, it would have uh, taken more effort to get around. But yeah, Jet's Chaver is uh, it's not doing so well. And since that's a team with a 180 as its team leader, I can use their sticker on my own car to get a uh, special nickname which we'll do right now actually so I want to uh, see about buying a new car at this point oh, we're, mm, we've only got 3.2 million it's not really enough for anything uh, especially good so we'll skip that part where am I going? so you can only have one team sticker on your car if you want the team stickers to actually have a, an impact on your nickname. So we'll have to get rid of the uh, rolling guy sticker, unfortunately. Place it speed planet. Just moving it down here. Okay, down a bit more. There we go. And I am now speed 
alumni. Which uh, sounds rather special. So the level 3 engine will take us up to 315 horsepower, but it is an upgrade that costs the same as the car cost in episode 1, so we will skip that for, for now. We don't need 32 more horsepower at the moment. We're doing pretty well with just 283. Right, rival list. Let's see who's left. No one's left in uh, night time. So, it says one out of two bosses here, but the other boss is, uh, he'll appear, he'll appear later. Same with one, but it's, only tw it's apparently 22, but there's only two listed here. There's more will come later. So you've got all these. So these are your, uh, Razors will appear on Shibuya at any time. And yeah, they're all Shibuya races. So yeah, I think I'm gonna um, cut this one right here. We'll uh we'll get started on midnight in the next episode. So if you uh Well, I shouldn't really be saying every episode really, should I? Don't really want to be begging for likes at this point, but uh, yeah, like and favorite if that's your thing. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>